What up folks, it's Alex here and welcome back to 5 Minute Friday. Now this week isn't quite as exciting, it's a practical one, but it could really save your bacon if DaVinci Resolve decides to crash on you during the middle of a project. So what we're going to look at is the Live Save feature and project backups. Now the Live Save feature does exactly what it says on the tin. It saves your project after every single change. So if you add a file to your timeline, it will save for you. If you add some color grading, it will save. Go into Fusion, save, cut, sound effects, music, anything you do after every single step, it will automatically save your project. So if DaVinci Resolve does decide to crash, you can just load the project up and it will be in exactly the same position you left off. And then you've got project backups. Now they're very similar, but they're set to intervals rather than being after every single change. So you can set how many backups you want within an hour, for example. So it's actually set to be every 10 minutes. So you'll get six backups every hour. You can then choose how many hourly backups you want to take. So maybe you want to hold eight hourly backups. So there's a backup for every hour you've worked for the past eight hours. And you can also do it in days as well. So with these project backups and with the live save, Hopefully, you'll never, ever lose an important project again. So, this is only a quick one, so let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how it's done. So here we are folks, we're in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now you can actually be on basically any tab, doesn't matter which, and then you're going up into the top left hand corner where it says DaVinci Resolve, and then selecting Preferences. This window will appear. At the top you've got System and User, so click on User. And then from this menu on the left, select the project, save and load. And then in these save settings here, you've got a tick box for live save. So to turn live save on, it's simply tick that box and then hit save. And that's it. That's all you need to do to get live save up and running. And then the same for your project backups. So we've got a project backups tick box here. We can just activate or deactivate that. Once it's activated, you've got a few options. So if we just skip down to the bottom here, this is the location for your backups. So make sure you put somewhere where there's a reasonable amount of room. You don't need too much because these actually self clear. It won't just create hundreds and hundreds of backups. It'll only allow for a certain amount. And then here you can change the intervals. So perform backups every 10 minutes. So if we do 10, that will hold six backups per hour. So after one hour, it will then start overwriting the original backup. So you'll only ha ever have six backups. Hourly backups for the past two hours. We can change that to say hourly backups for the past eight hours. And the maximum you'll ever have is eight hourly backups. So again, it won't take up loads and loads of storage space. And then you've got daily backups for the past two days. Again, the maximum you'll hold there is two or whatever you set that to. Once you're done, hit save and that's it that's those activated so live save will just start working straight away whenever you're in a project you make a change it will automatically save the project for you but to access your project backups what you actually need to do is head to your project manager so i'm just going to click on file and project manager here or if you're opening davinci resolve from scratch this is the first thing that you'll see when you load davinci resolve click on the project that you're interested in and we're going to right click and we're going to go to project backups and in here there'll be a list of the project backups that have been saved so you can see this one was saved today at 8.57 and this one was at 8.47 and then if I was just to click on this one here I can then load or delete so I can load into that backup and job them if I just hit refresh it'll just refresh this list to see if another has been created and that's it folks, easy as that. Turn your live save on and your project backups and hopefully you'll never ever lose a project again. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up. If you've got any feedback, comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, vlogs, general tech reviews, that sort of thing. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Cheerio.